Gary Sweeney. In his five decades as an artist, Gary Sweeney has established a body of work, artwork that is as diverse in media and presentation as it is singular in its wit and intelligence. It's good. Sweeney was born into the fertile artistic climate of 1950 Southern California. And both his father and grandmother were artists. To support his art making, which includes photography, painting, and sculpting, resulting in a body of work ranging from neon signs, billboards, and murals, to rug making, book art, and video, Sweeney took a job as a baggage handler for Continental Airlines, for which he was recently retired after 35 years. Gary is known and beloved for his humor, <laughs> which is especially apparent in his public artwork scattered throughout the United States. Please welcome to the stage artist, voice actor, and visionary, Gary Sweeney. Can you, can you still see the screen okay? If I uh, try to stand out of the way. Um, so I get to follow all these brilliant people with a, a, a talk that's called Not Everybody Likes My Sense of Humor. Um, and, and I want to qualify that because not everybody should like my sense of humor. But um, um, every artist I know experiences setbacks and, and uh, gets fired from jobs and gets uh, rejected from. Uh, so I'm not any different. I. Uh, I, I'm not playing the victim here, but I, I'm very grateful for the for the success that I've had. But I've also acquired a body of work that has uh, been, let's say, um, not well received. And so, um, uh, in some of these instances, I've left them with no choice but to fire me. But so let's let's take a look here. Like this already, huh? All right. When? Oh wait, wait. Okay, well, all right, this is a, um, uh, we artists are asked to donate work on a very regular basis, and I made this woodcut back in 2007, and for several years, this is what I give when I'm asked to donate uh, for an organization, and um, this wasn't supposed to be the first one, but anyway, uh, there's a, Oh, okay, this is another woodcut that I did. Uh, it's, uh, it says luck, it's spelled out in sign language, and in the corner there it says, um, uh, correction, the hand in the upper left is a sign for F, not L, as labeled. The artist regrets the error and apologizes for any misunderstanding. So I was asked to do uh, um, a parking garage uh, when they built the parking garage, I was asked to do billboards, and I did a set of eight billboards that go across the parking garage that make fun of San Antonio. This one says, now open your round. And um, I, was really, I was really thankful for the city fathers to let me make a little fun at their expense. This one, of course, says, um, Hemisphere, you're way too late. And uh, as, you, as you saw earlier, our friend Oscar can show you all the fun stuff you missed out on. Um, and... Uh, like I said, I'm thankful for the for the city to let me do that. Not a lot of cities will. I'm talking to you, Austin. Um, the San Antonio River Authority asks artists to submit ideas for benches along the museum reach. I made this historical marker depicting a naval battle on our river. I basically, com I basically combined all the most famous battles in history, and it's been rejected three different times, uh, including Lady Bird Lake in Austin. And it actually looks pretty legit until you start reading it, and then it's completely ridiculous. And it might be my favorite artwork, and I want to find a home for it. Um, uh, someday, maybe. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. Um, so there's another one that I made for the river. This one, uh, um, uh, here's another one that was soundly rejected by everyone, including Lady Burley. It says, due to a shipping error, the panel whale watching was inadvertently installed here instead of its intended location, the Monterey Aquarium in California. There are, in fact, no whales in, Sa in San Antonio River. The Parks Department uh, regrets the error and apologizes. And I really would like to see this on the river, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, um, can so 
I didn't time this very well, did I? So, uh, anyways, it's, ama it's, it's amazing how hated I am sometimes. But uh, this is a, my friend Ken. Ken Little is a very renowned artist, and I made this postcard for him after a show. Then I took the postcard back, and I blew it up, and I made neon on it. So instead of saying how nice I thought his show was, it says, Ken, and I really hate your artwork, Gary. And that's in the McNay Museum. Here's another one from the river. I can't seem to get away from the river. These are pictures from the, the creation of the... Panama Canal, and it says the building of the San Antonio River, and uh, of course the the um, the sign says uh, explains that the city bought it and then discovered it was a fraud and is suing me and the usual stuff. So Citrus Restaurant asked me to do asked artists to do a theme artwork with the theme of citrus and. Um, as it seemed, and this was mine, and they accepted it, and so I consider that a win. Uh, so, uh, uh, um, Robert Tatum had a Valentine's Day theme show, and this was my donation back from the days that Classifies had a romance section. And uh, if you didn't get it, you need to read it again. Um, uh, so, I'm going to get ahead here. The King William, uh, the King William Fair Associate Committee asked me to design their poster last year, and most of them liked it, but there was a few objections, and I offered, I offered to change some things, like this lady, and they said, no, it's just easier to fire you. And um, the odd thing to me is that they didn't have a poster for it, so they would rather have not had a poster than to have this one. And so the Tobin Center then asked me to do a poster for this benefit concert for the Doobie Brothers, a big big gala event uh they wanted me they wanted to include me and i'm sitting there with a tobin center and it says uh, why can i re why can i remember all the doobie brothers lyrics but i can't remember why i walked into this room and and anyway so i was signing all 400 of them and somebody came down and said well, i was making fun of the city fathers and they didn't pass them out so this one, remember the lady with a smile? Well, this was going to be a, a fiesta medal for an organization, and they rejected it. They, somebody actually said they thought she was flipping people off, and I said, no, she's not. But, but, a happy ending here. The, uh, the um, UTSA and uh, Fiesta Arts allowed me to do this, and they printed it, and um, I was going to tell, I told them, I said, first of all, it'll stand out. Second of all, you can take selfies with it. And third of all, if anyone asks me, I'm just going to say that the people in China flipped the, flipped the image. So, um, so we had a big tricentennial. Uh, it, and they asked 300 artists to do a piece of artwork, and we were all assigned. Uh, we were all assigned a year, and I got the year 1867. And uh, this may or may not be a, a historically accurate. Um, this is the last one I had. Um, this one is a recent one. It it features all the San Antonios around the world, and it tells the story about how a Spanish expedition uh, came came up this in this area searching for the perfect breakfast taco, and uh, and so anyway, thank God I ran out of time. I ran out of time. There were two that I missed. Wow, that went fast. Gary, darling. All right. Where, How long oh, have I you did. been doing Pecha Kucha, Gary? Um, I, did, I did one of the first Pecha Kuchas like years and years ago when there were like four people in the audience. And, mm. and, uh, and you still don't know how long 20 seconds is, huh? I know. <laughs> I know. I timed myself. But there was the, – we missed, we missed two. And uh, they, they're – Would you like to give them now? Okay, let's go see the first two. Can we see the first two? How do we do that? I have no idea if you can okay, go back, but you can explain mind. them. All right, you all can right. explain no, them, though. Fine. Oh, one, one, one was one uh, for uh, the state of Colorado. It was a, a state of Colorado had this uh, tourism campaign, and they've spent a million dollars on it. And uh, the the final the final product was Colorado and no place else. And I thought, well, that was really stupid. So I did a sign that said Colorado, and underneath it says the state that keeps Utah from running into Nebraska. And uh, they didn't like that one either. So uh, that was the first, that was, that was a while ago. That was my first taste of um, hatred and rejection. Um, two things, Gary. Okay. One, I sent those helicopters while you were speaking. I know. I was, yeah. I was, they just were like, none of that. <laughs> 
to you. As long as there wasn't a searchlight looking for me, I think we're fine. To um, you must be financially secure to just create art that you know people aren't going to like. Um, uh, yeah. Well, that's why I got a job as a baggage handler because uh, it allowed me. I would rather move people's luggage than compromise the integrity no, 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 of my art. No, it allowed me the freedom to do art work that people would hate. I didn't have to... I, That's a nice it, way of looking at it. Well, I, yeah, I, I, I tell that to art students. I say, there's, you know, you have a lot of... If you're worried about being rejected, then you're going to probably, you know, make some safe artwork, and I get a chance to stretch it out a bit. So I want to commend you for your tough skin. Y'all give him a hand again. That's so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got more questions? <laughs> yeah. I commend you for your tough skin. Can you talk to us about that opening montage that you created for this whole event? Oh, that beginning? was so much fun. So uh, you may not know this, but I wasn't supposed to be here tonight. My friend Randy Rudd, who uh, I collaborated on with that movie, has uh, uh, had a Pecha Kucha talk, and he will be talking in September, and you don't want to miss it because... He is a brilliant, funny guy, and we, when we were making that opening thing, we were laughing like hyenas, and um, he is, he is very, he worked for the studios for eight years, and so his Pecha Kucha talk is hysterical. So... What's, uh, have any of your, well, yeah, you did. I think you did. Did you have, do you have art in that you've created over the years that's been inspired by the movies that you want to talk to us about? Oh, let's see. No, I actually, uh, no. Um, it was just tonight. Just the stuff tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> just tonight. No, those, uh, yeah, he has a, my friend Randy has a, a, a library and we were going through it and, and, uh, we even like, we thought maybe the thing with Spartacus and, Vicky Juan was a, might have been a little bit too obscure cultural reference, but we didn't care. We just we, we thought it was hysterical. Everyone so. laughed at some point during that, yeah. and the fact that it went on and on was what made it absolutely <laughs> yeah. the funniest part. Yeah. All right. So I really don't have any questions per Good. se. Good, because those are hard questions you had. Damn. All right. I was going to come up with one right on the spot, but I just want to say thank you for all of your contributions, for being a superhero, stepping in the, the last minute. It was like they oh, yeah. worked you hard already, yeah. and then they made you come up here and talk after yeah. all of that. Well, like I told Vicky, I said, talk about myself for six minutes. Yeah, I think I can do that. <laughs> and looking stylish AF as he's doing it. Come on. You see all these patterns he has mixed, and it all works. You cute. You real cute. Thank with you. It. Thank you.